Hello friends, Rocco Zifael again here. Thanks you to join me again. This is the last uh, of the videos that I, I did for uh, Guitar Technics magazine. It's a sort of uh, guitar workshop series. This is the sixth one, the last one. And uh, the song again from Jason Sidwell, the title is uh, The Return of uh, Johnny F. And uh, it's a sort of uh, uh, shuffle groove in triplets. You can think this in triplets. Uh, full of chords, and it really it really reminds me of the music of Stevie Dan, a great band from uh, the U.S. Donald Fagan, keyboard player, singer, composer, and Walter Baker, uh, guitar player, composer, singer, were the leaders, and uh, uh, they created great, great music that I really love. And it reminds me a, li a lot of this, this this song. And also I love the guitarists that joined them in the band, live in, in the, on the record, like uh, first of all, Larry Carlton, he did a great job on uh, and also the, the record directly of uh, uh, Donald Fagan. Uh, Walter Bagel, great guitarist as well. And uh, John Ellington, the, the late, last uh, guitarist of the band. Well, the song is uh, based on, on, a, on a shuffle groove. Shuffle is a triplet groove. A triplet on guitar is pretty, uh, are pretty easy to play with uh, three notes per string fingers that everybody knows, you know? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm playing now with the alternate picking. I can play legato. And uh, um, when I play, uh, but w I want to focus about the alternate picking. Alternate picking is very important, especially uh, if you want to keep a, a very good timing. Because you have to pay a, a attention a lot about the, go the, 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 the ghost note. That means uh, that, okay, when you play the note, you know. <laughs> You have this alternate picking, and uh, it's a regular picking. You have a uh, uh, down stroke, up, down, then, then up, down, up on the on the second string, on the on the following string, on the other string again. The pattern starts again on with the down, up, down, then up, down, and, and so on. So uh, it's very important to keep all this uh, uh, movement constant, this flow, you know. Uh, very constantly. Uh, also, when you d don't play, when, when you play different kind of, of rhythm patterns in, in triplets, as it, when you, when you insert some rest, you can imagine, you can you can practice this. You can imagine some uh, uh, a particular pattern like You have to to keep in mind the triplets always in your mind. And, uh, uh, and this is kept by the continuous rolling of the of the movement of the picking. Okay, and uh, you know even if uh, I'm I'm not playing uh, all the notes uh, that are considered in the in the in the flowed triplets, you know, I continue to 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 play the note in a sort of ghost, you know, instead of doing it. You know, if I if I see the movement of the picking, it's the same flow uh, as before. You know, and go down, up, but it's it's a ghost. You know, you can also change uh, and practice with the different. Uh, um, Leading pattern like to do da ta ta da da ga da ta ga da ta. There are many minor seventh chord and minor sixth chord. Well, minor seven is easy to play with a minor pentatonic or Dorian uh, minor Dorian. Um, but also the, the six, the minor six chord, the six is also um, present in the in the Dorian scale. So you can. But I really like to play uh, minor six arpeggio. That is minor seven and minor six. So the sixth in place of the seventh. The, there is a, a, a very strong connection between the minor six chord and the uh, half diminished chord, the minus seven flat five, uh, and minor third below. So D minus six is the same as uh, um, B minor seven flat five, and I can say that are the inversion each of the other. And um, so what you play thinking about uh, minor six is the same as playing uh, the the relative 
uh, half diminished chord. So when I play uh, the B minor fifth five, B minor seventh fifth five, I I I can consider and play D minor sixth because I have the same note. All the the, the finger of this. Also, um, what I like to play on uh, it's also on on the minor sixth chord is a pentatonic. Uh, the minor pentatonic with the, the six in place of minus seven. Also, this pentatonic sounds really great. I'm, I'm, I'm playing D minus six pentatonic, sounds really good on G seven tonic, you know. And uh, this it's very blues, has a great blues feel, uh, it's present in a lot of uh, blues phrasing. Um, also, uh, about the minus seven uh, fret five that present this chord is uh, in, in, in the song. I like also to play the um, the minor pentatonic with the flat five, with the, the fifth below, with the diminished fifth. So you know this happens also in, in E. So with the blues feet. Another, another thing is the, the the use of the melodic minor on the minor chord. Well, a lot of uh, minor chord, uh, seventh chord, with also the sixth. But I really like to play the, the the melodic minor instead of the Dorian. To me, Dorian and melodic minor are the same scale. The, the melodic minor is uh, has the the major seventh. And, uh, but this major seven to me is a lack of uh, chromatic approach to the the, um, uh, the root of the minor chord. So playing uh, thank you again for joining me. I want to thanks a lot, uh, Jason Sidwell, to. You have involved me in this uh, great project, uh, and also thanks to everybody at uh, Guitar Techniques magazine. Uh, the guitar is uh, a classic T drop from uh, Agustin Guitar directly to the Camper. It's another another sample from Michael Breed. It's a, a sample of the, the Divided 13. Thanks again, everybody, and hope to see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>